Angling for another story? Stay tuned for more of The Source. The more I researched into it, the more I thought it sounded like an unbelievable opportunity. The opportunity Marty Mako is referring to saw him join other Western educators for 17 days of volunteer work in Kenya. The trip was financed by Mako and organized by the charity Save the Children. Mako is back home in Port Dalhousie where he answered the question, what did you do on your summer vacation? And so we were there building schools some days and other days teaching and mentoring in the classroom. So we got a lot of great experience doing both, working with our hands but also being able to use our heads as well to share some knowledge and learn from the teachers in, uh, in Kenya. What was the age range of students you were dealing with? We dealt with mostly primary students, so all the way from kindergarten to grade 8. On my focus, I did a lot more health-related, so biology-type work, tutoring and mentoring. I would try to work with the teacher there to try and not take over, because the focus of Free the Children is on sustainable development. So they're not there uh, to do li little short-term uh, wins. You're there to, for the long term. And so a lot of the focus um, there when I'd be working with the teacher is not to be a distraction. What is it you think you're able to accomplish in those 17 days? I think in 17 days there is learning on my part and sharing. I, I try to think of it as a win-win. Uh, I really enjoyed my time learning that we have a lot more in common than we think. That we tend, when we think of Kenya and a lot of these uh, developing countries, we always tend to think about how we're so different. But I found one of my lasting memories is that we're a lot more similar than we think. In the end, it was a unique piece of Western pop culture that helped make the trip one to remember. Being a health promoter, a lot of the work I do involves doing community presentations. And so I decided to bring with me a $1 plastic hula hoop that I tend to bring around uh, Niagara. Just imagine this coming through the Nairobi airport on the conveyor belt with all of the different suitcases, then there's this one plastic hula hoop traveling along. And so this white guy walks up, picks up his two pieces of suitcase and a hula hoop, and leaves the airport. And then the adventure began. So I took it around to all of the different schools, and just seeing the children laughing at something so simple as a hula hoop, it allowed us, uh, once you people start laughing together, you start talking. He came with one, but returned with two after villagers presented him with a homemade hula hoop prior to his departure. And one night they said, Marty, we have something for you. And, and it was kind of a hush-hush, kind of a surprise. And then they came up the stairs and they were so proud to have something to give me, made out of their natural uh, uh, materials. And I was just in shock. And, but uh, the, the sort of the quietness didn't last long because then uh, they all of a sudden started using them. So it was just a hula hoop dance party broke out right there with us using the plastic ones, them using the wooden ones, then sharing and everyone clapping and laughing and dancing. It just, it again hammered home, I guess, how similar we all really are. Great. Volunteer work has been a major part of your life. Why do you give of your time so freely? I think, as the saying goes to those who much has been given, much is expected, I think I've been given a, a really great life. And so I think it's my responsibility to give back. And so I don't really even think of volunteer work as a chore or labor. I really enjoy it. I think there's so many ways, uh, ways to give of your own talents back. So this will continue? Oh, definitely. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a way to live. It's a way to live your life. In Niagara. You're watching The Source on TV Kojiko.